Hi and welcome back to Healing Gems. So I'm going to be doing an A to Z of how to heal from chronic fatigue. So this being the first video, we're going to start with A. So my A is for acceptance. Acceptance is accepting that you have chronic fatigue. A is for accepting that you have these physical and mental symptoms happening to you in your body right now. And it's about accepting you how your lifestyle, if it hasn't already, is probably going to change in some shape or form in order for you to be able to recover from this condition. So what acceptance isn't is giving up and giving in to chronic fatigue. It's not thinking, okay, the doctor's told me I've got chronic fatigue, there's nothing I can do about it, so I'm just going to accept it and this is going to be my life ongoing from now on. It's absolutely, it doesn't mean any of those things. So why is acceptance so important? Acceptance can help you both physically and mentally. So as a byproduct of accepting the condition, you are lowering your stress levels. And as chronic fatigue is a stress-related condition, then anything that you can do to lower your stress levels is obviously going to help. So if you think about it, if you're resisting the chronic fatigue, the symptoms, how your life is changing, you're gonna be constantly pushing and constantly resisting. So if you've ever heard of the saying, whatever you resist persists, then it couldn't be more true in the case of chronic fatigue. So by accepting the condition, accepting the symptoms, you are starting to lower your stress levels. And as a byproduct, then probably your physical symptoms are gonna get better. You're gonna be happier. You know, you're probably your mind isn't gonna be going 10 to the dozen all of the time. And just your quality of life is actually going to improve whether or not the symptoms do themselves. So acceptance is extremely important. So there are some therapists that practice acceptance and commitment therapy. I've never done it myself, but acceptance has been one of the big parts of the puzzle in order to heal from chronic fatigue. So how do you accept? So this is the question I asked a lot at the very beginning. I was like, well, how, how do I accept this condition? There isn't exactly a switch that you just press and it says that you accept having chronic fatigue and happy days, all my symptoms are gonna disappear. It's, it's not like that. It actually takes a lot of work to accept the condition because let's face it, you know, there's stuff happening in your body that doesn't feel very nice. Your lifestyle has had to change. You know, it's probably affecting all aspects of your life, you know, relationships. So it is probably really hard. It is a very th hard thing to accept because you're, you know, you've got all of these emotions going on. You've got anger, like, you know, why the hell is this happening to me? It's so unfair. You know, you're, it's sadness and upset. It's like a grief for a life that you once had that you no longer have anymore. So you've got all of these emotions to cope with and someone's asking you to accept them. But... As I said, you know, acceptance is going to help things flow through your body much easier um, than resisting all the time. Because resisting, putting up a fight, you know, it's, it's just not going to help. It's not going to help you physically, emotionally or mentally. So however you get to the point of being able to accept is probably different from person to person. I did a lot of EFT, emotional freedom technique or tapping you know, I did a lot of self-talk in terms of, you know, trying to tell myself, you know, just accept how you're feeling right at this moment. It's not going to be like this forever. You know, there's lots of things that you're doing in order to be able to help yourself. So that all really helped me to come to terms with the fact that, you know, my life had changed quite a fair bit and that I wasn't feeling how I wanted to be feeling every day. And, you know, I did a lot of research into, you know, how to cope with chronic fatigue. And this term of acceptance kept coming up and up and up in every chronic condition that, you know, I read about, not just chronic fatigue. So acceptance is, is key. And I promise you by accepting, it is going to lower your stress levels. It's just going to lower that pressure that you put on yourself. And as a byproduct of that, you know, your thoughts start to become calmer your body starts to become calmer and symptoms, you know, can start to reduce. 
And even if you find that at first, you know, nothing's not as changing physically, then you might find that just generally you become just a little bit more happier and your quality of life is, you know, is, is a bit better. And then as a byproduct of that, I can almost guarantee, you know, your symptoms will start to reduce. So try and practice acceptance. It might take you a while, but, you know, do what you have to do. Talk to friends, talk to family, talk to a counsellor, you know, any way that you can get to the point where you accept where you are right now in this moment in time, you know, accept that you have chronic fatigue, accept that you have all of these disruptions going on in your life. And this really is the start to healing and getting better. And it's, it, it's absolutely key. So, you know, go for it, accept. Obviously you're gonna have days where you just can't accept the condition and then you're gonna have other days. But if you have more days than not that of accepting, then you know, you're well on your way to healing. Okay, so good luck and please leave a comment, ask questions, give me a thumbs up um, and I'll see you for the letter B shortly. Okay, bye.